Thank you for coming by, gentlemen. No problem. So what's up? Well, it was the two of you who found Amy Farrah Fowler for me. Now that I'm looking for my next girlfriend, it seemed only logical that I employ your services once again. You sure you're up for that? She did hurt you. Oh, no, it's all right. I think of my time with Amy as a stick of fruit stripe gum. Sweet and enjoyable at first, but ultimately a flavorless lump of sadness. <laughs> you're not wrong about fruit stripe. I, I was always a hubba bubba man. <laughs> hubba bubba over double bubble? You're crazy. <laughs> hey, the jaw wants what it wants. Yeah, gentlemen! <laughs> oh, right, uh, girlfriend. But what are you looking for? All I'm looking for is an educated, intelligent woman who shares my interests while retaining her own unique point of view. Uh, she should be kind, patient, and most important, uh, unable to imagine life without me by 10 o'clock tonight. <laughs> Isn't that a little unreasonable? All right, fine, she doesn't need her own point of view. Now chop chop. <laughs> I think the quickest way to find you a new girlfriend is just to get you on every dating website out there. Oh, are you sure? I've heard that on those sites, often when you think you're corresponding with someone, it's actually a computer program pretending to be a real person. And you're afraid it'll do a better job than you? <laughs> Excuse me. No one does a better job pretending to be a person than I do. <laughs> Siri comes close, but I know more jokes. But if you don't want to use dating websites, what do you suggest? Off the top of my head, uh, prospective women weed themselves out in a battle of wits until only one champion remains. Uh, she shows up at my door, flush with the thrill of victory, and then sits quietly by my side while I watch Daredevil. You seriously think women would fight for you? People compete for jobs and trophies, why not me? He's right, he knows a lot of jokes. <laughs> Yeah, no, but it is basic human nature. If we present him as a prize, maybe they would. Well, he's smart. He's a respected scientist. Yeah, and I have the soulful eyes of a cow. <laughs> I don't know if I'd say you... Oh. I have an idea. What if we put a post on Craigslist that says, world-class Caltech physicist seeking girlfriend. If interested, solve the following puzzles for a chance to meet him. Yo, we'll make the puzzles extremely challenging to eliminate unworthy candidates. Oh, we could set it up like a scavenger hunt where the last puzzle gives the winner Sheldon's contact information. This is actually an interesting social experiment. <laughs> I'm a little jealous of the people who get to do it. Me too, and we've seen the prize. <laughs> That's it. The Sheldon Cooper Girlfriend Challenge is officially live. <laughs> Congratulations. This is exciting. <laughs> right now, somewhere, a woman is dividing the atomic weight of the best noble gas by the number of colors and the oldest national flag still in use. Well, then using that number as the average speed to calculate the travel time from Mordor to the Shire. <laughs> and taking her first step towards a lifetime of laughter, love, and best of all, rules. I, I hope we didn't make the puzzles too hard. Well. If she can solve them, it'll prove she's intelligent, tenacious, and so socially awkward she has nothing better to do on a Saturday night. <laughs> Golly, she sounds too good to be true. 